those of you who've been working with the travel rollers, that's Adam and Arista's wonderful device. I've got, I think, all four colours here, and we'll get to that in a moment. We'll recognise these, but what David and I want to show you today is the use of these medium-sized balls, which we call belly balls, for rolling the internal organs, and also two example sticks, one thicker than the other, which we use for working on front shin muscles, for hamstrings, and also we're going to show you a way to use them to improve your front splits and side splits. Sounds a bit radical and it certainly feels radical, but the effect of working on your fascia using a combination of these devices just simply can't be beat. Um, and we, we also know that fascia is a red hot research topic right now, um, but what we're going to talk about today is there's nothing theoretical about it. It's, a, it's practical, it can be implemented immediately, and it, whatever your flexibility level is, these devices can be incorporated and the key thing is you'll know straight away from the instant results that you get that this is likely to be very beneficial for you. So we'll begin with the sticks. Many people have written to us and asked them how they can improve this sitting position. Now in my own case, when I first went to Japan, it took about five years to be able to sit with my bottom on the ground in between my heels. But since we've discovered the travel roller and we've started experimenting with sticks and other devices to loosen fascia, I know that we can speed that process up for most of you. And this is what I recommend. You'll see here that I have two sticks. One's a bit thicker than the other. We're going to use the thinner of the sticks to work on the two parts, the two parts of the calf muscle and all three parts of the hamstring muscle. And this is how we do it. If we lift the hips away from the heels like this, put the stick up near the knee joint itself and let as much of your body's weight down onto the stick as you can actually tolerate. Now in the beginning this will be quite an intense sensation. Then lift yourself away and move the stick a little bit further away from the knee and again let your body's weight settle on the stick. Now what you'll find is that when you move the stick small amounts to different places there are quite different sensations produced in the body and if you find, for example, in this position here where my um, heel is in contact with the bottom itself, there isn't any great strong sensation, then what you can do is lean forward and actually apply your weight to the stick and in a kind of pulsing, alternating action like this, you can increase the weight from one side to the other. Then when you roll down to about here, in my case, I'm actually on that junction between soleus and gastrocnemius. Roll down a little bit further more on soleus now without any gastrocnemius and then when we get down here we actually start to feel soleus and the Achilles tendon itself and in fact we can go all the way down the leg and I'm doing this fairly quickly you'll take more time to do this alternating the sensation like this by alternating weight leaning on one side of the stick and then the other and I'll show you what that looks like from the front in a moment now, I've been doing a lot of walking up and down hills lately, and as a result, the Achilles tendons are a tiny bit tender today. And so this is, in my view, absolutely fantastic therapy for this. It's much more intense than using the travel rollers, but the principles are exactly the same. So let me just show you again, and I, I should also mention that when these muscles here loosen, when the, when the calf muscles and hamstring muscles loosen in this position here, it takes away any strain that might be felt in the knees by trying to sit on your heels like this. So let me show you once more. Put the stick right up here like this and slowly lower yourself onto your heels like this. And in the beginning I recommend strongly that you take some of your weight, in fact quite a lot of your weight on your fingertips, but as I said in time you'll be able to allow all of your body's weight to come on those muscles. And then once you've worked on one point just roll the sticks a slight amount for closer to the heel itself, wriggle around a little bit, move a little bit more. And I'm wearing shorts today, but it's, it's more comfortable for most people to do it in long pants like um, tracksuit pants or tights. And working on the fascia and the muscles in makes later stretching of those muscles just so much more easy and more comfortable, we found. Also, if you've ever pulled a calf muscle, it's normally uh, some of the fascia between gastrocnemius and soleus, where the site of those injuries most commonly occurs, and we have found that this um, targets that, low, that part of the junction between the muscles better than any other technique, including my stretching exercises, I have to say. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn around and face you and show you what that looks like from the front. 
Now this is what I meant about transferring your weight from side to side. In the beginning, be gentle with yourself when you do this because uh, until the body gets used to it, it really is very intense indeed. It's just like having someone do a strong massage on the calf muscles with their elbows or their knees. If any of you have ever had any shiatsu treatments or anything like that, you'll know what I'm talking about. And when you find some particular line, like this spot here today for me requires some effort being put into it, I just, I'm still and I lean the weight down onto the sticks like this, that emphasizes the calf muscles and if I pull back like this, that emphasizes the hamstring muscles and if I lean from side to side like this, that pulses the maximum effect from one calf muscle to the other. And then I lift the weight off slightly, roll the stick back half an inch or so and then settle back into the same routine. And to roll all the muscles from the knee joint to the Achilles tendon, for me personally, takes about 10 minutes. So don't be in a hurry here. And also, if you let your body weight settle on the stick as I'm letting it settle on now, you'll find that the immediate intense sensation reduces quite significantly and you can tolerate it for quite a bit longer.